Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here real fast and share with you my wax empties from August 10th through August 20th. I do not have a lot of stuff to share, um, mostly because I'm back at work now all day, so I'm not changing out my wax at home. I do keep my warmers on while I am gone, and I am also melting at work, so... Hopefully, I'll be able to share stuff with you that I am melting in the classroom, um, but I have not emptied anything out yet. But some of the things that I have melting in the classroom have been Rose Girls Peppermint. Um, I've also been melting a, is it a spicy sweet cream, I think, from Scentsy. And um, I've been doing some strawberry scents. So... Those will be in an upcoming empties video. But let's just jump in and I'll share with you guys what I'm melting right now. Over here in this warmer and in all of my um, downstairs warmers, I am currently melting Rose Girls Monster Cookie, which is described as brown sugar blended with sweet and creamy butter and Madagascar vanilla. So I am melting that with her, with Rose Girls Absolute Coffee, which is freshly brewed coffee. So, really just a fantastic, like, morning scent to have going all throughout your house. All right. So, we'll do some bags first. So, from Rainbow Melts, I have Staycation, which is described as mango sorbet, creamy, dreamy coconut, juicy pear, and fresh pineapple. And definitely the strongest note in Staycation is her mango sorbet. So this is just a, oh, how she describes, I know she says it's dreamy, creamy, dreamy coconut, but this whole blend is dreamy, creamy. It's so good. The coconut is pretty strong. Also, it's not a suntan coconut. It's an actual like fruit coconut. Um, very strong. And I would say lasting probably close to the six hour mark on this. And I just really enjoyed this. We still are experiencing, you're going to hear me saying this forever, very hot days here. Um, you know, with temperatures this past, this week, this past week at like 112, 113 degrees. So still like really warm. And although I'm like craving fall, which I am slowly putting into the mix, um, still a lot of summery blends are being melted in my house. I also melted from Hayden Rowe, Rocket Pop Fizz. This was just in one of her little ducks. And this is described as cherry, blue raspberry, lemon lime, effervescence. This was so cooling and refreshing. Just a nice, fruity concoction. Um, and you definitely get that effervescence mixed in there. Perfect name for it. And this was just a really, again, just a nice, fruity hot day type of blend. I finished up a bag of Zen in her mini melters from Rose Girls. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's just a nice clean spa scent. It is wonderful on its own. It's fantastic mixed with fruits, um, raspberry, strawberry, if you have a blueberry, um, mixed with a laundry, really anything you can melt. Um, Zen and I feel it's a scent that in my opinion, I feel like everybody would like it. I'm going to try it because I know I have more bags of it. I'm going to also try that to melt um, some zen in my classroom as well. Another one from Rainbow Melt, I finished up Spin Cycle, which is Original Gain and Clean Breeze. Again, just a really strong, wet laundry scent. This is so good. Um, I mostly melt this upstairs in bedrooms and living spaces up there. We do have a big size loft, so, and my laundry room is up on the second floor, so it kind of ties in really well, um, melting that upstairs. So I do love that. I can't speak highly enough about Rainbow Melts. I just have never had anything from her, from Crystal, that has not performed. So really, really enjoying everything that I melt from Rainbow Melts. A couple more from Hayden Row. These were ducks. These ducks were sent to me um, from my Close Smell Like Candles. I'm sure you guys all follow her. Angie, Angela is her name. And um, I had said in a video or two ago that I had one 
she was doing a couple little giveaways and I want to give away and these were things that she included in that giveaway. So I melted lemon meringue, which is lemon curd, sweet marshmallow and toasted marshmallow. This was really good. Didn't really get so much of the toasted marshmallow. When I think toasted marshmallow, I think like a smoky type of note in that and that was not in here. This was more of just a straight up lemony type of scent this was really good again it was in one of her ducks really really enjoyed that um while that was melting i also melted lemon wood from hayden row again in her ducks which is lemon warm woods and lemon leaves this was really nice complimenting the lemon meringue enjoyed that had that going in one warmer downstairs and then the lemon meringue in another one and it was just a nice lemon scent which again i feel like lemon is one of those fragrances that is a non-offensive um pretty much anybody coming into your home or being in your home it would be a scent that they would appreciate the last one from hayden row is boardwalk bliss this is described as fizzy pop cotton candy saltwater taffy and fruity candy and actually i did melt that with rocket pop fizz so Boardwalk Bliss and Rock to Pop Fizz were very nice together. Enjoyed both of them. Again, I would say like five to six hours. Um, so these were ones that I put in my warmer when I got home from work. So about 3.30. Um, so it was nice. Melted it, you know, throughout the rest of the afternoon into dinner time and so on. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? From Rose Girls, Rosemary Mint and Gilligan's Brew. This was so good and I was a little scared of it. This was in her, I'm going to say what she calls them wrong, in her cupcakes. But I know that that's, I know she calls them something else. Anyway, they're beautiful cupcakes. Um, so I cut this into fourths. And this was just a, this was really good. It's a, if you know Gilligan's Brew, it's, like a heavy cream, a coconut and heavy cream. So mixed with a rosemary mint. Kind of sounds maybe like a little bit of an odd concoction, for lack of a better word. But the Gilligan's Brew made the rosemary mint very creamy. It was just different. I really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised. And at first I thought just start it out in one warmer, just do a quarter of it and see, but... I always have to go all out um, when doing that. So I have this in four warmers. Like I said, it was just, I say give this a try. And I know, I'm pretty sure I have a bag of her Rosemary Mint mini mixers, mini melters. And I think I still have some Gilligan's Brew. So I'm going to do this again, like on its own. I mean, with what I have. So this, again... It was my, I kind of took a chance by getting it because I love both Rosemary Mint and I love her Gilligan's Brew. But together, it was a little scary, but turned out to be a real, real hit. And I'm so glad that I um, took a chance and melted that. It was really, really good. I know, I described everything as really good, which I know annoys people. I read something like recently of somebody saying that they can't stand when somebody describes things as really good. But to me... Sometimes that's what I have. Um, sea of Tears from the Bathing Garden. And I don't have a scent description on this. So I don't have a scent description on this. And when I checked the website, I couldn't find one. This to me, I know this is not going to do anybody any type of service. This is a, like a beachy, Tiny, tiny little bit like floral, but not, not perfumey floral, flower floral. And an ever so slight hint of fruit. So Sea of Tears was just a small little bundt cake, like a one and done type of melt. And I did really enjoy that. Probably got mm, three to four hours melting that. <clears throat> A couple scent shot cups that we have from Midnight Daydream Wax Company, Salted Caramel Waffle Cone, which is Salted Caramel and Waffle Cone Crunch. That's exactly what it smells like on cold. 
This gets melted in my oldest son's bedroom. Um, he loves all fall scents. And because I mostly got like bakery from Midnight Daydream. And as you guys know, it does not throw in any other room in my house. So we restrict it to melting it just in my son's room. And he is very happy with that. He loves it. That was good. And I definitely could smell it when I was in his room. Um, and even walking by his bedroom, I could smell it. And he said that it smelled exactly how it was described. But more, he said more like waffles that you cook and not a waffle cone. So that's from a 13-year-old. Um, from, oh my gosh, why can I never remember the name of this vendor? Oh my goodness. Um, this, I'm just going to show you guys it. I can't remember. <laughs> Do you guys know who this is? Uh, this is Timberwolf. This is really good. This is a smoky, outdoorsy, little spiced scent. This I did enjoy. I wish that it had been stronger because it really wasn't on cold, very, very strong. Woof wicks, woof wicks, okay. Um, but it was okay. From a crafty barista, gummies are yummy, which is delicious, sweet gummy candies. And yes, absolutely, that's what this was. This reminded me of, not the Haribo gummies, but I can't think of the name of it. The one, the gummies that have like the neon worms with the sugar on it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? When you open the bag of that candy, that's exactly what this wax smells like. Spot on. And it was a really, really good, just a sugary, fruity candy scent. Delicious. And last scent shot cut from Beezy's Tarts. This was also sent to me from Angela, my close smell like candles. This was Sangria Punch. This I melted with the gummies. This was fantastic. It wasn't sangria in the sense of like booziness. It was sangria in the sense of all the fruits that you would put into a sangria. So it was definitely a like fruity punch type of scent. This was good as well. Strong and long lasting. A good eight hours with that. And then just a couple clamshells and we'll be done. From Sensationals, I melted Egyptian co cotton, which is a delicate blend of light floral and white musk. This, this is just such a beautiful scent to me. And it's not like a generic Walmart scent. It's just so pretty. It's light. It's feminine. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love this. I love this. And I try to always have this in my collection because it's just such an enjoyable scent. I love it in bedrooms. I love it in living spaces. It's just... To me, it's universal. It's just such a great, great scent. Now, I couldn't, I couldn't hold off and wait until fall for this one. This is Smoked Caramel Fireside. This was a new one um, at Walmart from Better Homes and Gardens. And I was hoping that this was going to be like Rose Girls. What is her, that called? Like Toasted. Toasted. I thought it was going to be like Rose Girl's Campfire Marshmallow. I thought that the Smoked Caramel Fireside would be like that. And maybe, you know, mixed with like a caramel tobacco type of thing. But this wasn't. This is definitely light. Um, I melted the whole uh, clamshell. So I had two going. I have two warmers in my kitchen. So I had it going two cubes in my Yankee centerpiece and two cubes going in my Glade and then two cubes going um, in my living room in two different warmers, both tea light warmers. So one cube in each there. And it was very subtle, which I guess is okay. I mean, with any type of smoky note, maybe you don't want your house like overrun by that scent. It's a scent I completely and totally enjoy and love, but it just kind of, I don't know. 
perhaps my expectations are too high of it, so I was a little disappointed. I do still have another clamshell, and I'm not saying that I wouldn't buy it again. I just wanted it to resemble Campfire Marshmallow, which this is like, I, mean, I just, I love this. I just love this so much, and I had like three bags of it in her mini melters, and I'm down to this last last bag that I'm going to try to save her, but I do love it, so I need to use it as well. And then, like I said, I'm trying to incorporate fall scents because I'm just so ready. Um, I did go ahead and I melted this whole clamshell of honey soaked apples, which I know Canada Kim loves this as well. This is from Swan Creek. This is just such an amazing Ugh, it makes my mouth water smelling it. It's still so strong in the empty container. Just a delicious um, apple goodness. Strong, strong apple. Ugh, just good. Not apple cider, not apple sauce. It is just a delicious, almost maybe if you were mashing up fresh apples, but you hadn't added anything else into it. You know, there's no cinnamon. Oh, it is just a wonderful, wonderful scent. I know I melted through tons of clamshells of this last fall, and this was my last one. Um, oh, I just, I love it. I love it so much. I may try to go the fall without it, though. I don't want to burn myself out on, like, favorites, which I know I've done in the past because you tend to, you know, you melt them constantly, and then... <laughs> By the end of the season, you're like, I'm never melting, never melting that again. It was too much or whatever. So that is everything that I melted from August 10th through August 20th. I know not a ton. Um, I was trying to melt stuff from like BAM bags and pans. So those, you know, won't be empties for a very long time. So that is everything that I have been melting. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait for fall weather, which we still have a long way to go here, but it is definitely my most favorite time of year. I love those cooler days and nights and being able to be outside and actually do things. So that is everything. I will be back with a Scentsy haul. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.